Hey everybody, my name is Ryan, and today in this video I'll be doing a tutorial on how to grow your channel on YouTube and how to increase your audience size, as well as making the best videos and commentary as you possibly can. Now I will be doing this in a variety of ways by pretty much just telling you guys the best kind of capture card to use, the best audio recording devices to use, um, your content, and how you guys actually present yourself to your audience. Now before I even start the video guys, I ask for a like and comment on this video if you guys do enjoy it. Now if you guys don't agree with what I'm saying, that's fine too, but if you guys do agree, please just click the like button and leave me a comment with some feedback, and please subscribe if you are a new viewer. It helps me out a tremendous amount guys, and I do appreciate all the support I get. But anyway guys, let's get into the video first by talking about recording devices. Alright guys, so the first thing I'll be talking about is actually video recording devices, and it basically goes with uh, the lesser money you have to spend on them, the lesser quality they are. That's just how it goes guys, because the more expensive ones are the better quality uh, capture devices. Now before I even say this, like even talk about these, I just want to say, never record with an easy cap or some kind of really, really bad quality one, like an easy cap or a hand camera. No one's going to want to watch that if you're doing gaming videos, because uh, it's very shaky and it's very, very bad quality and the audio is horrible. So guys, never use uh, a hand camera or an easy cap or some kind of really bad recording device like that. But anyway guys, there are very good alternatives to actually using those and they're actually a lot better because they record the TV and they're pretty good quality. Now the first one is a Dazzle and that's only $60. Uh, there's a picture on the screen right now of the Dazzle, uh, the HD PVR and the Elgato because I'll be talking about all three of them. But the first one is the, uh, is the Dazzle, and it does cost $60. It's a it's an alright capture card. Um, it's mid-quality, so it's like 480 by 360 I think. Um, the audio isn't the best, but it's a lot better than a hand camera and uh, an easy cap. And because it is so cheap, um, it's not, like, most people can afford it. So I, I actually, had, that was my second one I think. Yeah, I think it was my second capture card I ever used. I used it for about a month. Now the only thing bad about it is um, you have to have a lot of splitters and connectors to it, and those cost about 10 15 bucks. so it's not really that big of a deal. But you have a lot of wires going from your Xbox to your TV, your computer, and it could get cluttered. Um, but it's a, it's still a very good starting it's a very good starting uh, capture card. But once you guys get bigger or you guys want a, you have some more money to actually spend on this, um, I would suggest going to an Elgato or an HD PVR. Now an Elgato and an HD PVR are about the same price. An Elgato is 160, and an HD PVR is I think 160 now. The new one is at least the one I bought was 200 dollars, but that was a year ago. And so they're basically about the same price. And the only difference is the Elgato can record in 1080p. And uh, the HD PVR records in 720p, but still, I I prefer the HD PVR because I've heard it's better quality. I actually don't have it at Elgato, but I have been told they're kind of cheaply built, and uh, they are and they're still HD quality, but they do crash a lot, and the, like the software isn't as best as the HD PVR. Now I can't really talk, I can't really say because, like I said, I don't own one of these, but that's just what I've heard from other people. Now you guys can take it whatever way you want. If you guys have an HD TV, uh, I do, but I use component cables. But if you guys want to use an HD cable like an HDMI cable to record, then I would definitely suggest using the Elgato because it does, uh, you record with an HDMI port. And the HD PVR, you have to have Xbox component cables. And uh, it comes with an extra set of component cables, but you still have to have an Xbox pair. Um, so that's the only bad thing because those do cost like 10, 15 bucks. But it is your choice, guys. If you guys want to spend the extra $10 for component cables, um, then get the HD PVR. But if you just want to play with an HDMI cable, then definitely go with the Elgato. Um, other than that, guys, they're about the same price. And uh, they're about the same quality, just how you render, guys. So the next thing I'll be talking about is now I'll be talking about audio devices. All right, guys, so the next thing I'll be talking about is an audio recording device. Now, I'm doing my commentary with an audio recording device. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. But um, I actually use a Blue Yeti, and my voice is very, very clear. And that's why I love it. Um, it's one of the more expensive mics, but it is very worth it. But if you guys don't have a lot of money or you guys don't really want to spend a lot of money on... Uh, audio recording device and there are lots of alternatives. The first one is being like a rock band mic or any kind of USB mic. Um, I actually had Guitar Hero 3 when I first started uh, on my PS3 and I just used that mic. Um, it worked very, very good. It was it was actually fairly decent quality. It's better than like a Turtle Beach or anything. Um, but it's very good quality and it's very inexpensive. Um, the only bad thing is like, it doesn't have a stand so you have to hold it physically and you could like move it back and forth, you can move positions and so your voice will sound different because if you guys are moving around at all. That's probably the only bad thing about them and sometimes they do crash on you, like the they don't really write files that well. But other than that guys, I would really suggest buying a USB like Rock Band mic or just some USB mic just because they're very simple to work with and they're very inexpensive. 
Now another option, guys, if you, if you guys like serious gamers, is using a Turtle Beach or like Astros or something like that that come with a pink uh, PC cable. Now the reason I say this is because for about a year and a half, I actually used my Turtle Beach's X11, and I just used the PC cable that plugged into my computer to record. Now the good thing about this is you can wear it on your head. It's stationary; it will not move unless you actually physically move and bend the wire around. And uh, it's it's a decent quality. I mean, people can understand you, but it is kind of grainy. Um, and you guys can watch my videos probably like before January 1st, and you guys can actually hear what an H like. Uh, what these like sound like because it's all right quality but it's not the best and I have had to, people tell me that they are so glad that I switched to a Blue Yeti just because it's so much easier and clearer to, for to uh, like to understand me and I hope you guys like feel the same way because they're all right if you guys are gaming and you guys don't want to spend extra money on another like mic just for commentating but if you guys are getting serious into YouTube and you guys want to grow your channel I would suggest buying either uh, like a better mic like a Blue Snowball or Blue Yeti which I will be talking about in a minute. Now I just did say blue uh, snowball and blue yeti. A blue snowball is one hundred dollars, and it's just it looks like a snowball, but it's black, and it's made by Blue uh, Microphones. It's probably one of the best microphones you can get. My friend Casper Z has one. His voice is very very clear. Guys, go check him out if you guys want to hear what it actually sounds like. And I'm talking with a blue yeti. Uh, a blue yeti is one fifty, and it's a little bit bigger. It looks like one of those mics that would come down uh, from the like the roof in like a nineteen sixties boxing match. It's kind of like that, but it's more high tech and it is very very clear now it will cost you $150 and the Blue Yeti and Blue Snowball will cost you $100 but if you guys have that money to spend I would definitely recommend getting a Blue Snowball or a Blue Yeti just because they are probably one of the best mics in the world and they're very very clear guys so I hope that helped you with audio microphones now let's go on to your content alright guys so once you guys have got your video and audio recording devices I'll now be talking about content and what to upload what not to upload and thumbnails basically just what people will see on the search results and the first thing I can say is guys is always be original don't ever just upload something just because someone else has for example something that you can upload that other people do is like a Harlem Shake Harlem Shakes are hilarious I think they're really really cool and just everyone has their own different twist but something you guys should not upload is like glitches now I know I I am a glitcher and I upload glitches but I'm saying this guys is because everyone uploads them and it's just really not fun to actually do because a lot of people do them and no you don't like really get the recognition for it so that's why me, Casper Z, and I'm Chucky for the win kind of went away from glitches. Um, we used to, That's all we used to do, and we just did like tricks, tips and tricks because no one really uploaded that. And it was fun just because I was like, we were original, and we got a lot more recognition for it. We saw like a lot more people were giving us feedback on like a tips video than they would on a glitch video, and it really helped us all out. Now, I'm not saying to just do tips and tricks just because we did, but I would say find something that you guys enjoy doing, like a zombie, like tutorials. Uh, multiplayer tricks anything like that guys and upload it just stick to that and upload it because you will get bigger like that um, than if you guys just do something that everyone else does like glitches but if you guys do like do like real life videos do like trolling uh, in like home Walmart or uh, Harlem shakes just because those are cool and a lot of people will search for those and they do like the different versions but something like glitching where the glitch is the same and everyone just explains it differently just kind of stay away from that because I'm not going to guarantee anything with your channels but I can pretty much guarantee that if you guys do some really good quality videos uh, in real life or you guys stick to something uh, that's original in like a like Call of Duty game or a video game and you guys are very very good at it you guys make it entertaining you guys will go far I promise you guys that um, as long as you guys don't swear at your audience or block people for stupid stuff and if, as long as you guys are pretty much respectful and you, you're all your stuff's nice funny uh, entertaining stuff like that you guys will grow an audience and I'll now be talking about thumbnails now you guys can get Photoshop Sony Vegas uh, GIMP GIMP's a free one and you guys just want to make your thumbnails so that they're easy to read, they're big text, uh, so people can see them as they search them, and they, they look entertaining. Like, you guys want to pretty much make your thumbnail, relate it as close as you can as uh, as the video that you guys want the thumbnail on. So if you guys are doing, like, a uh, Harlem Shake, have, like, on the thumbnail it says, like, Harlem Shake in real life or something like that. And people will watch it because it is relative to your video. All right, guys, so now I'll be talking about your audience. Your audience is the main part of your YouTube career and how you guys will get bigger. So I would always say is to be respectful to them. If Even if they leave you a hate comment, a good comment, whatever, um, always be respectful. Don't ever tell them, like, fuck off or anything like that because that will lose you guys subscribers and respect from those people watching your videos. And always reply to people if they have a good comment for you or even a bad comment. Just thank them for that. Always improve on the bad comments and as well as the good comments. And you guys will go far because you guys will keep improving and more people will see that. And they will see you guys are respectful to your subscribers 
subscribers, and also even do open lobbies. If you guys are on like video games like I do, I do open lobbies every once in a while for the people that have stayed with me for as long as I have been on like, a YouTube channel and all my subscribers. I just kind of thank like I thank them for helping me out grow. But anyway, guys, really that's all for this video. Um, if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to click the like button, leave me a comment with your feedback, and please subscribe if you are a new viewer. I am trying to make I try to make this video as best I could for you guys, so you guys could like grow your channel and just kind of be successful on YouTube. So I really do hope it helped you guys out. Um, I'm just telling you guys the stuff that I learned on how to grow my channel, and I just want to help you guys out as well. So until next time, guys, my name is Ryan. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm out. Peace.